Good morning class 9th students I hope you all are fine and busy with your studies In the first video of act 2 scene 2 we have seen Launcelot's inner struggle with his concerns and fiend The first one advises him to be a faithful servant and the latter tells him to leave Shylock's service Anyhow he listens the devil and decides to run away from there later he meets his old blind father gobbo who asks him the way of master jews house being a clown of the play he tries to tease his father now let's continue from launcelot's dialogue launcelot's dialogue Talk you of young master Launcelot? Aside, mark me now. Now, I will raise the waters. Talk you of young master Launcelot? Here, Launcelot asks him, "Is he talking about young master Launcelot?" Then he asks him, that is to Gobbo, to look into his eyes. then launcelot goes aside and talks to himself that he can bring tears into his eyes that is in gobbo's eyes here launcelot uses high sounding words in his conversation with gobbo to impress him that he possesses classical learning and is a gentleman shakespeare wants to convey the audience that habit of some vain people of his time who pretended to be what they were not now gobbo's dialogue no master sir but a poor man's son his father though i say it is an honest exceeding poor man and god be thanked well to live Gobbo tells to Launcelot that do not call him master he is the son of a poor man his father although he says it himself is an honest man in spite of being very poor he thanked god that launcelot is in good health launcelot's dialogue well let his father be what a will we talk of young master launcelot launcelot says that let his father be whatever he is at present they are talking about the young launcelot now gobbo's dialogue your worship's friend and launcelot sir that is Yes sir your friend your young friend Launcelot Launcelot's dialogue but i pray you ergo old man ergo i beseech you talk you of young master Launcelot uh, this dialogue is very simple you can easily understand only difficult word is ergo it means therefore and beseech means earnestly it is the request Now next one is Gobbo's dialogue. Oh Launcelot, ain't please your mastership. Gobbo says yes. Uh, he is talking about Launcelot. Now Launcelot's dialogue. Ergo, Master Launcelot, talk not of Master Launcelot, father, for the young gentleman, according to fates and destinies, and such odd. sayings the sisters three and such branches of learning is indeed deceased or as you would say in plain terms gone to heaven in this dialogue launcelot calls old gobbo father in the first line of the extract as he plans to reveal his identity gradually to him in the given lines Launcelot tells Gobbo that according to his faith 
or destiny or the three sisters of the ancient Greeks and such other branches of learning, the young man is dead. In this dialogue, the sisters three has been used as an allusion. According to Greek mythology, it was believed faith was decided by three women. One spun the thread of life, the second gave it to man and the third cut the thread when life was to end. Let's see the shocking response of Gobo. Gobo's dialogue. Mary, God forbid, the boy was the very staff of my age, my very prop. Here, Gobbo says that, by the Virgin Mary, may God forbid this to happen. The boy was the support in his old age, his only support. Now, Lancelot's dialogue aside, do I look like a cudgel or a hovel post? A staff or a prop? Do you know me, father? Now, Lancelot asks himself, Do I look like a staff or a post supporting a shed, a staff or a support? Then loudly, he asks his father, Don't you recognize me, father? Gobo's dialogue. Alack the day. I know you not, young gentleman. But I pray you, tell me, is my boy, God rest his soul, alive or dead? Here, old Gobo expresses his grief and tells to Launcelot that he does not know him and requests him, is his son, may God give him peace, dead or alive. Next, Launcelot asks him, do you not know me, father? Let us see Gobo's reply. Gobo, Allah, sir, I am sand blind. I know you not. Next one is Launcelot's dialogue. Nay, indeed, if you had your eyes, you might fail of the knowing me. It is a wise father that knows his own child. Well, old man, I will tell you news of your son. Give me your blessing. And he kneels down. Truth will come to light. Murder cannot be hid long. A man's son may but in the end. Truth will out. Here, Launcelot tells to his father that even if his eyesight was good, he might not recognize him. For it is a wise father who recognizes his child. Well, old man, he will give him news of his son, give him his blessings. Lancelot kneels before him. Truth will reveal itself and murder cannot be hidden for long. A man's son may hide things, but in the end, the truth will be revealed. In the next dialogue, we will see Gobo is still reluctant to accept Launcelot, his son. Let us see Gobo's dialogue. Pray you, sir, stand up. I am sure you are not Launcelot, my boy. Here, Gobo says, he cannot think that he is his son. Launcelot's dialogue. Pray you, let's have no more fooling about it. But give me your blessing. I am Launcelot, your boy, that was your son, that is your child, that shall be. Here, Launcelot becomes serious and requests his father to stop fooling each other. And he also asks him to give his blessings. He is Launcelot, who was his boy and is his son and shall always be his child. Gobo again says, I cannot think you are my son. Now, let us see how does Launcelot try to convince Gobo. Launcelot's dialogue, I know not 
what I shall think of that. But I am Launcelot, the Jew's man, and I am sure Marjorie, your wife, is my mother. Here, Launcelot says that he does not know what to say. He is Launcelot, the servant of the Jew. Marjorie, his wife, his wife, that is Gobo's wife, is his mother. Let's see how does Gobo respond. Her name is Marjorie, indeed. I will be sworn. If thou be Launcelot, thou art my own flesh and blood. Lord, worshipped might he be. What a beard hast thou got. Thou hast got more hair on thy chin than Dobin, my Phil horse has on his tail. In this dialogue, Gobo agrees and accepts him as his son if his mother name is Marjorie. Now, Gobo can swear that if he is Launcelot, he is his son. In this dialogue, Launcelot kneels in front of his father. His father feels his beard and says that Launcelot has more hair on his face than their cart horse has on his tail. So this is the humorous situation in this scene. The next dialogue is of Launcelot. Launcelot is rising. Now let us see his dialogue. It should seem then that Dobin's tail grows backward. I am sure he had more hair of his tail than I have of my face when I last saw him. Here Launcelot says that it seems Dobin's tail is growing less for he is sure when he last saw him Dobin had more hair on his tail than he has on his face. Gobo's dialogue. Lord, how art thou changed? How dost thou and thy master agree? I have brought him a present. How agree you now? In this dialogue, Gobo tells to Launcelot that how much he has changed. How does he and his master get along. He has brought him a present. Who brought a present here? Gobo has brought a present for Shylock. Now he is asking to Launcelot. Does he agree to give it to him? To whom? To Shylock. Let's see what does Launcelot say. Launcelot's dialogue. Well, well. But for mine own part, as I have set up my rest to run away, so I will not rest till I have run some ground. My master's a very Jew. Give him a present. Give him a halter. I am famished in his service. You may tell every finger I have with my ribs. Father, I am glad you are come. Give me your present to one Master Bassanio, who indeed gives rare new liveries. If I serve not him, I will run as far as God has any ground. O oh, rare fortune, here comes the man to him, Father, for I am a Jew, if I serve the Jew any longer. In this dialogue, Launcelot says, that he has made up his mind to run away from here, to leave Shylock's service. Launcelot tells his father to give halter to his master instead of present. He also tells his father that under Shylock's service, he has grown so thin for want of proper food that his ribs and bones are standing out prominently and can be counted with the finger. And 
adds if he serves basanio he will have the privilege of having new uniforms according to launcelot if he works any longer for the jew that is for shylock he may become a jew himself he means that it is impossible for him to remain in shylock's service any further this much is enough for today the remaining part of the lesson i will continue in my next video lesson dear students please check the school app for homework till next video lesson take care and have a nice time